Right, this is a little quick show and tell video of the of a Cyclops brute that we worked on for a customer. Uh, just got it going here a little bit ago and it took a little bit of work but it's going. Um, there's a video link down below if you want to see what we did to it. But if you'd like to check us out, Fencer Fixer. Fencerfixer.com is our website. Uh, our address. We were also working on cattle scales and low bars. Mostly Gallagher and True Test, but we'll work on about any of them if we can. We get free quotes and 18 month warranty on the repairs that we do. I'll plug it in here and light flashing and clicking along there. And put our tester on there. I'm getting a little around 10,000 volts out of the thing, so plenty hot. It's a 10 stored joules, 8 output joules, so it's got a pretty nice kick to it. Do a little spark jump. We'll go from ground to and create a little spark gap to the fence and see it jump. So it's a pretty good unit. So this one's a 2014 model based on when it was built. So it's got a little age on it, seven years old. Now these things aren't, this one had a little bit of rust and stuff on the inside on the connections and screws were rusty looking. So I don't know if this you know, was indoors or outdoors, but if it was out in a spot where moisture can get to it, these do not have a, uh, a gasket inside of them. So you've got to protect them if they're outdoors. You can see the case comes right off. And you see there's just an overlapping lip there. About that much overlaps between the front and the back. So there's no gaskets in there. So you can see these little connections up here. They're supposed to be silver. And they're all rusty looking. Screws over here are supposed to be silver looking. They're all rusty looking. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, rust starting to build up on the plates. That's the inside of it. All the Cyclops units are all the same uh, case. Just different guts on the inside to make one stronger or weaker than the next. So, but this is the inside of the Cyclops Brute, the AC version. You got your surge protector board the, with the input fuse by the power cord side right up here. And the surge protection board right there for the AC side. And you got your main power board. You got your two capacitors here. A great big transformer right here that takes the power. And this board builds a charge up gradually through these capacitors over to these um, big capacitors. It, this big device here triggers and fires this energy from these capacitors to this transfer. The transfer is actually what makes the clicking, clicking sound itself. It takes that energy from the capacitor, beefs it up, boosts it up to higher voltage, lower amperage, and spits it out here. Puts it to this board, your output lightning protection board on your fence and ground side. This is your fence, uh, the fuse for the fence and grounds over here to protect it from the lightning if it gets on the fence side. And there's also this where your light bulb plugs in at. And the fuse from out here plugs on here as well. So it's a little, got a built-in spark gap right there. So it's a pretty good unit. I mean, the Cyclops makes a decent quality unit. They're not the, not my favorite for reliability, but they're not bad for the money. I think they're a lot better than some of the other ones out there. Um, they all, they do have some good lightning protection in them, but um, they all get hit either way, so it doesn't really matter. So, but hopefully you like this kind of stuff. If you got a Cyclops Brute or a Cyclops model of some sort, um, send it on in here to us for us to look at. Fencerfixer.com is our website. Cattlescalerepair.com is our website for, for livestock scales and cattle scales and low bars. That's the stuff we work on. 
but happy to take a look at it for if you got one. So that's about it for this little video. Until next time, we'll see you later.